my name is Chris Adams, I work at Amy. And I'm Jason Nealon and I work at usewitch.com. All right. Um, we have spent the last weekend instead of going out and having uh, and having drinks with friends or going to the park, uh, we've been sitting in uh, the ODI making a web app to meet a challenge put forward to us by uh, the My Data Hack Day organisers, and uh, we bit, we we met that challenge with a project called um, Empower Me. Um, so so the uh, problem we we're trying to solve is. Um um, letting people know how much money they're spending on their energy um, and giving them ways in, in which to reduce that energy usage and, and letting them also know about some of the, the, sque the uh, schemes that are available from the government to, to help uh, fund sort of energy improvements to their house. So it's instant personalised energy saving advice. That was our tagline that we ended up, that uh, you came up with uh, halfway through which uh, I'm not, not sure what time you actually came up with that, but yeah, let's go with that <laughs> one. Late that. last night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the main feedback was uh, there were questions about whether people feel that they are would share some relatively sensitive data in a central place to make available to other people for the kind of services that we were actually describing. So in our case, we are we're using energy information. Uh, so itemized bills, we were using uh, a, li a little bit of information about uh, someone's location, their postcode. We weren't, were we using anything related to bank accounts or, 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 or earnings or spend um, expenditure? We, we didn't really get that far, but there's some interesting uh, sort of use cases for that. Mm. Um, because obviously uh, if, you, if you've got money in the bank account, um, you know, a, a good way to spend it might be on something like uh, solar panels. Where you might get a better sort of return for your money. Um, but, so that was definitely an area we, we could uh, look at in the future. So those are the main questions we actually had. We had a few other questions about uh, the initial cost you were actually putting in and how you'd actually, how you might communicate that and what the kind of payback period for some of these investments were. Because in many cases when you are putting some money, if you're going to pay for say a ground, horse, a ground source heat pump, these are not cheap, these are around say £9,000 to put into a house. So I know, the cost of a cheap extension for a house really. So that, 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 those are some of the other questions coming up and how people actually had, have access to, to finance or pay for any of that. I think that we were trying to actually address those issues by saying that there is help out there already for people who do want to actually do this. So in many cases, let's say you do want to do this, there is a, either financial help or there are schemes to actually make it worthwhile. In many cases, the actual payback period is comparable, if not better, to a lot of other more reg more conventional investments that you actually might make if you have, say, £9,000 to invest somewhere. 